thank you uh, the committee members for such a warm uh, welcome and of course jitu bhai oh jitu bhai shayad vijay bhai ko chhodte chhodte ko tip lene chale gaye honge so you know aaj subah mein when uh, when i told somebody that i'm going to be part of this wonderful conference uh, He says weekday, Friday, working day. Today, today, ये सब conference हम शायद आज कर रहे हो. Normally ज्ञान ज्ञान normally छुट्टी के दिन बांटते हैं ना. So, so I said हाँ वो बस चालू हो गया अभी. And uh, he says market is up. तो ये सब C A लोग उधर हैं तो ये shorting यही लोग करते हैं क्या? <laughs> so I said I don't know. वो वो ढूंढना पड़ेगा जाके. We'll figure that out. But uh, so after Vijay Bhai is wonderful, uh, straight from the heart. chat that we had uh, i thought i'll get you some time to you know doze off if you want before lunch um, so i said i'll use some slides to keep things interesting um, and then try and focus on a very odd topic normally we don't hear about this topic and when jitu bhai told me saying aap kuch topic dhoondo acha sa सो जीतू भाई का कैसा है पहले स्पीकर ढूंढते हैं फिर उसको बोलते हैं आप टॉपिक ढूंढो यू नो सो ऐसे ऐसा उल्टा होना चाहिए था कोई अगर जगह है कोई टॉपिक की तो बोल सकते हैं सर नहीं नहीं आप कुछ भी उसका अच्छा नाम देना लेकिन सो आई सेड ओके विल फिगर आउट समथिंग दैट साउंड इंटरेस्टिंग सो वेन आई सेंट एम दिस नेम ई से हाँ सॉलिड अच्छा है सेड आपको समझ आया क्या बोलते नहीं मुझे नहीं समझ आया इसलिए अच्छा लग रहा है so i said nahi nahi main samjhata hai nahi nahi wo udhar presentation because this now is probably uh, i've been doing this i've been fortunate to have interacted with all of you i mean your peers in other centers as well uh, a lot many times in the last couple of years my experience is you know and and i i think it resonates very well with what vijay bhai was talking about that actually market uh, investing in the market making money in the market with a liberal dosage of luck is quite simple what happens is people who are in the intermediation business in this market try and make it complicated right so that sab ki naukri bani rahe sab ka thoda dukaan chalti rahe sir if you make it too simple you would need a lot of intermediaries whether advisors brokers fund managers or whatever so everybody tries to you know give some very complex gyan about it and all and and you know that's why i have started realizing uh, and and this is a very good uh, concept which charli bangare has also talked about he's talked about inversion always invert you know what that means aapne kisi ne suna inversion kya hota hai <coughs> okay so jis jo cheez mein invest nahi kar raha hai wo pehle samajh jao ki ye wo simple hota hai ki ye cheez hum jaise humko malum hota hai hum bahar khana khane jate hain ki hum non veg nahi khate ठीक है ना सो so, हमारा चॉइस एकदम सिंपल होना शुरू हो जाता है बोले फिर बोले क्या तो मैं कांदा लहसन नहीं खाता okay, और सिंपल हो गया सो यू नो सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज बाय एलिमिनेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ द नॉन एसेंशियल्स यू एंड अप कमिंग टू अ स्मॉलर यूनिवर्स व्हिच स्टार्ट्स मेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ सेंस इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्राइंग टू वेट थ्रू द होल सी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड ऑल दैट यू फोकस ऑन वॉट इज रेलिवेंट to you to us as as investors or as traders or whatever so noise in in economic terms is is a very nice definition if you look at wikipedia they have noise of different types acoustic noise environmental noise finance noise economic noise what it means is any information that is unwanted disturbing or confusing right so noise is what end of the day it is sound but it's not pleasant anything that is unpleasant we start calling it noise scientifically it's the same as music that is also sound made out of vibration noise is also made out of vibration but that's unpleasant the other one is pleasant so what i'm trying to differentiate and trying to bring out is if we can understand what is noise while trying to interpret news and avoid all of that you will be left with a lot of time to figure out a lot of things which will make money we usually are drowned in noise aisa bolte hai na aapne padha hoga kai bar log bolte hai ki you are drowning in noise 
कि इतना ज्यादा गुजराती में उसको घोंघाट बोलते हैं क्या बोलते हैं घोंघाट राइट सो इट्स नॉट प्लेजेंट बट इट्स नॉइजी इट्स डिस्टर्बिंग सो वट वी थॉट इज विल प्रोबली डू समथिंग वेयर विल ट्राई एंड फिगर आउट हाउ थिंग्स चेंज सो ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल पिक्चर हु हु इज दिस जेंडमेन एनी गेसेस ये गूगल नहीं कर सकते इसलिए मेरे को ऐसा सवाल रखना पड़ा है क्या होता है ना कुछ सादा क्वेश्चन लिख के दे दो तो सब गूगल कर लेते हैं फोटो को करना थोड़ा सा मुश्किल है है उसके लिए भी ए आई ऐप्स आ गए हैं लेकिन यू नो हु दिस जेंटलमैन इज मोहम्मद अली द ग्रेट बॉक्सर इसको देख के लगता है क्या ये कभी बॉक्सर थे भी ये बन सकते थे बट दिस इज ऑफकोर्स अनफॉर्चुनेटली टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ इज life and he was uh, suffering from parkinsons and all but he is the same mohammad ali who was who is regarded as one of the best boxers ever right so what happens is when you look at things you don't know the history and you can't even make out what's going to be the way ahead so don't let anything that seems obvious confuse you or mislead you that's the first rule of making sense of the market and why i'm saying that is a lot of times people ask me this question when i go on television and of course mitesh bhai is also here we all do live shows you know these are shows which are not pre decided pre meditated we are made to sit and say abhi chalo market chalu market mein hai na wo to to usme thodi malum hota hai ki kya aane wala hai ya kya news aaya hai or result reactions you seen result reactions you see the result reaction is on the exchange and we just get that 30 60 seconds when abhishek kotari will come and read up something because he is slightly more well prepared uska naukri usko karna bhi padta hai uh, or or somebody comes and talks about saying ye number aaya abhi what is the reaction in those 30 seconds you have to figure out something but why that happens is uh, why somebody can do it is because you have cut the noise out and you just focus on the data points which are relevant otherwise you can be lost and can't figure out in those 60 seconds what the infosys number looks like what is this and the, the the toughest question when they ask is what do you think the reaction on the stock will be next day right so i, I hope you don't follow all that usko bahut seriously mat lena aap log jab hum log reaction dete hain to at least paisa mat lagana us pe but but to have a review itself is very difficult right or wrong is secondary right so a lot of times i've asked people saying okay uh, because you know everybody thinks they can also do it they, they and, and i'm sure a lot of people can do it but the key is not to get you know people actually think tum log ko samajh isliye aata hai stocks ke bare mein kyunki aapke paas news bahut aata hai everybody who knows me tell me saying you are sitting in a place where there's so much of news that comes to you so naturally you know better than all of us ki ye stock mein aisa hota hai vijay bhai ne kya samjhaya koi unko news news se koi matlab hi nahi hai warren buffett doesn't have a television in his office by the way just to let you know the guy who's made the biggest investing empire you know ever doesn't watch television so you 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 got to take a call whether you want more of news or want less news so we'll we'll figure that out so let's let's understand why noise when i say noise which is that unwanted confusing misleading sound is important because if there was no noise people would not have difference of opinion aap samajh rahe ho na agar noise hota hi nahi to usko interpret hi nahi karne ka wo rehta so because there is disagreement everybody interprets data and information differently you have a market it's it's a different thing that because of the complex nature of the world's markets not all market data is information please understand so to to be able to differentiate this is very important and that's why noise nahi hoga to nahi and noise ya news ko hum log kaise use kar sakte hain so if you are in trading some of you I, as i could make out are into trading some of you are into investing right so for traders what is the importance of news it is characterized by the nature of trading trading is defined with entry and exit being predefined faster reactions are expected you can't say oh ye news aaya hai mere ko abhi kal do din baad trade lene do 
ये न्यूज आया है तो मुझे अभी अगले तीस सेकेंड में डिसाइड करना है लेना है नहीं लेना है डायरेक्शनली कौन सी साइड लेना है सो यू हैव शॉर्टर रिस्पॉन्स टाइम्स द प्राइस बिहेवियर इज द ओनली ट्रिगर वेन यू आर ट्रेडिंग प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड देर इज नो नथिंग नो साइंस टू एनी थिंग बियॉन्ड प्राइस बिहेवियर एंड द रिएक्शन ऑफ द मार्केट्स टू द न्यूज फ्लो इज इम्पॉर्टेंट वट इज इट रिएक्शन द न्यूज फ्लो इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट द रिएक्शन ऑफ द मार्केट्स टू द न्यूज फ्लो इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बट इफ यू आर इन्वेस्टर you have the liberty of more deliberated reactions you can take time digest the news do your analysis number crunching whatever whatever you want to do you have longer response time you have more time to respond to the situation the triggers are business outcomes ki company mein kya hone wala hai company ke business ko kya hone wala hai is news flow se so like if some development happens what is the impact on that sector and on that company that you are holding or you want to buy and that's how it works so news flow itself becomes important not the market's reaction to the news flow that's immaterial so i'll i'll give an example there are there are a lot of uh, ipos that that's why it's very difficult to make out how ipos will do well or how should you make money after the ipo gets listed there have been ipos where there is so much noise before the ipo gray market iska ye promoter ka ye hai itna famous hai aisa hai waisa hai ek 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 drone company ka bhi ipo aaya tha kuch mahine pehle उसने बोला भाई वो कैटा वालों ने भी इन्फोसिस के प्रमोटर्स ने भी इन्वेस्ट किया हुआ था यू नो इट वाज एन आईपीओ व्हिच वाज कमिंग बट दे हैड इन्वेस्टेड इन द प्राइवेट इक्विटी साइड बहुत बढ़िया है ऐसा है वैसा है वो कितने पी पे ऑफर कर रहा था 600 समथिंग के भाव पे ऑफर कर रहा था तो दैट वाज अबाउट हंड्रेड पी इट क्लोज टू हंड्रेड पी द ऑफर वॉज एट हंड्रेड पी द ग्रे मार्केट वॉज गिविंग इट अनदर हंड्रेड परसेंट अपसाइड ऐसे बारह सौ लिस्ट होगा so when it got listed it was traded at 180 p do you know which company i'm talking about uh so so usme wo second word hai na wo that was more heavy than the first word <laughs> you know so the stock got listed at 1200 wherever this thing but it was unsustainable fundamentally but there was so much noise around it noise hype whatever you want to call it people do get carried away and some of us might still be holding it thinking it's you know it's a great company and drones have a great future so so look at depending on who you are and what your style of making money in the market is you could check that let me explain why and how news impacts you know if you simplify how to make a what is it that um, you know the mechanics of the dynamics of a multi bagger in the making multi bagger banta kaise विजय मैंने बोला वो टेन एक्स हंड्रेड एक्स तो ऐसा मतलब उनके लिए तो ऐसा इजी है हम लोग के लिए तो फाइव एक्स ही नहीं होता है राइट right? सो so, उसको हम सिंप्लीफाई करते हैं कि देर आर ओनली टू वेरिएबल्स और वेक्टर्स एट वर्क फॉर प्राइस मूवमेंट्स वन इज द ईपीएस ग्रोथ चेंज इन द ईपीएस ग्रोथ डी ग्रोथ वट एवर एंड अदर इज द चेंज इन द पी मल्टीपल आई टेकन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ स्टॉक विच इज एट टू हंड्रेड रुपीज बीस रुपये का ई है दस का पी है उसका वेरी नॉर्मल सिचुएशन and year on year after a year it grows with 10% the next year it grows at 20% then it grows at 30% i mean the profit i mean then again there's a degrowth then again there's a degrowth so it's not a constant linear growth every year but it grows for 3 years and then degrows for the next 2 years in 5 years the eps has become 49 rupees p multiple also keeps on changing with various moods of the market or whatever you know 10 to 12 then again 10 and again 12 and then suddenly in the fifth after 5 years where the growth in profit is only 15% the company gets starts getting a 15 ka multiple because probably people start feeling this is the bottom and now it will do well and it's become 750 rupees so from 200 to 750 itna simply ban jata isme koi aapko lag raha hai kuch out aisa lag raha hai ki ye unreal hai nahi ho sakta aisa kuch hai very simple average moderate reasonable real numbers and by the way this is an actual company uh, this is this is a company which is very well known uh, and i had done this uh, using its numbers uh, tata consumer products ka thai so it moved if you see it's moved up in the last 5 years from where it used to be almost it's 4 5x right a well known company it was always in front of us but this is what happened to it now if you feel this is possible all you have to do is focus on any news flow data point or information which either impacts the eps or the p multiple 
everything else is noise you know so how do you do that understand what influences the eps there is no rocket science to making money in the markets if you understand this so simply and you guys are far more educated and skilled to do it than a lot of lay people but i can tell you the reason why most of us who are highly educated and skilled or over qualified don't end up doing it is because we think humne itna padha hai to use kya karenge usko to humko sab ki balance sheet sab ka forensic karke corporate governance rpt sab kuch dekhna hota hai fine you do it but first and foremost you understand the business model ki paisa banati kaise company revenue kahan se aata hai expense kya hai uska leverage kya hai usme depreciation is not such a big but it will impact eps it might not impact the earnings of a company so much but it's a technical listing impact on eps and one offs this could be you know they've sold out some real estate which they had or they you know bought into something and all those one offs will happen and that could give a different picture if you understand these five things well a news related or news around these five things i don't think there is anybody who can stop you from really finding multi baggers yeah are you are you with me on this ki possible hai ki nahi hai nahi hai lunch ke baad hoga so how do we get there where do you start understanding that so first is look for familiar sectors which is this is always a difficult question to answer which company or sector should i focus on while analyzing fundamentals yes you have agreed to do fundamentals but which sector to start with so what vijay bhai is saying we also keep on finding trends that so and so so like four years back i remember when we started looking at renewables all companies in the renewable sectors were either unlisted which were active or very small in fact that was the time i invested in a ipo of a company which was setting up a 15 megawatt kitna 15 megawatt solar capacity and imagine we were impressed by that 15 megawatt se hum log impress ho gaye the ki 15 megawatt hai aaj wo company already koi 650 megawatt pe and the stock is 80 rupees ka ipo tha of course pandemic mein 40 bhi gaya tha but in 4 and a half 5 years time it's about 1800 rupees it's a listed company okay so what i'm saying is four years back renewables mein there was far more opportunity in basic renewables people who just went out and set up solar plants jisko normal solar plant bhi dalna tha uske liye bhi bahut kamai thi abhi waisa nahi hai because so many people have started doing it and you probably don't have that kind of a multiple you can give so environment has changed the supply is very high options are very high abhi lekin renewables mein there is a huge change happening in you know what is the biggest challenge if you talk to anybody who is into solar power they their their problem is not setting up solar units rooftop or you know uh, utility scale solar farms you know they'll tell you solar power to bahut ban raha hai but store nahi ho raha hai waste ho jata hai right you you when you need it and if you don't have the grid to take it out what do you do with solar power in the evenings there is nothing so sham ko andhera hai light jab chahiye tab nahi hai din mein jab nahi chahiye tab ujala hai tab bahut generate hota hai so solar power has its own challenges so what is going to be the next growth area with so much solar power development is going to be energy storage solutions so anybody who works on energy storage now which is typically batteries in hydro there is something else which is called pump storage they they actually pump you know water which comes through a dam it generates electricity wo wapas us pani ko upar chadate hain wahi electricity ka part use karke taki wo fir se generate ho jaye so otherwise water is gone out it's gone you can't come back because of gravity right so wo wapas pump karte hain so there are different energy storage solutions which are emerging if you understand that now probably it's going to give you much more money than basic solar epc and solar you know uh, this thing so that's that's what you need to look at as sectors then the second point was how do we get there all you have to do is focus on quarterly earnings and annual reports i mean i think they are the most transparent easily accessible understandable way to figure out what a company is doing the annual report also gives you history you can go back 10 years 12 years 15 years to see annual reports and you will be able to make out what all the company has been doing how committed it is bolta hai wo karta hai ki nahi 
you know, there's so many annual reports where there's one company very interesting, very popular, by the way. Every year in the last 10 years, they have talked about a new project, a new area that they will grow in, but it has never happened, right? So finally, they kept on doing this until now, finally, have come to a stage where they are doing an IP of a subsidiary at a very fancy valuation. So people who don't know about the history of the company will probably buy into that IP also. Right? So there's a lot of noise around that because the IPO product, the company's product is very popular. We all of us use it. So we think, are yaar, ye to hai. But if you look at the company's history, you will say that it will change a lot. Every year, a new annual report will put a team dal dete. So there are such a lot of things that you can, wo kundli uska you will understand the annual report. If you look at quarterly earnings, what is happening today, you will understand it. So there are two very different things. And then every business that you invest, the news flow, data points around it has to answer questions about things, paisa kaise banta hai. If Zomato tells you we are doing this, we are doing that, but paisa nahi ban raha hai, to wo sab matlab ka nahi hai kuch. Wo gyan leke, aapko yehi jawab nahi mil raha hai abhi tak ki paisa kaha banta hai. There are so many business models where, you know, paisa nahi ban raha hai. But valuation to aisa matlab, you know, multiple dekho to wo, Calculate it, it doesn't feel like calculate karne se, ki itna bhi multiple kaise hoga. So that's, that's the kind of this thing. And how does the product sale translate into business profitability? If it will sell, then how much profitability will come So we just thought we'll help you simply, I don't know, some of you might have seen this slide. I've used it in the past as well. It's a very simple way to analyze a business. I do this all the time. Every company I visit or look, research, I have my notes across these six P's. Um, and these six P's answer questions, so I just have to answer these questions. So I've now got this templated in my laptop saying when I meet a company, I come back and decide on answering these questions. Who runs the business? What is their background? How many people run the business? Productivity kya hai? You know, all of that. How is the product service sold? Whether distribution hai, nahi hai, B2C hai, B2B hai, e-commerce hai, you know, whatever. So there are so many things which you will understand about the business when you answer these simple questions. And none of these questions are, are like secretive. Kaise dhundne ka ye? Aapko sabka jawab mil jata hai. Par humko sawal kya puchna wo nahi malum rata hai. Jawab to mil jayega, but uh, you know, sawal puchna kaun sa hai wo hai. So this is, this is what you do. I'm just skipping this so that we don't waste time on this as yet. Okay. So this is a graph which, uh, is of course the US market, tells you in the last 33 years, 35 years, the market has always had a reason to sell. You know, if you look at, there are so many events which make you feel, you Vijay Bhai said, if war is happening, we are tension, we are taking Biden and we are solving them, because we have more tension. So that's what happens. Tension is happening in every five, six years, something happens in the Gulf War, who are 90, Two may, uske baad bond may, itram wash out wa, government shutdown to aate jate rehta hai, Asian crisis, tech boom burst, sab kuch hua hai, thik hai? Phir bhi market aap dekh lo kidar hai. So, while there is always a reason to sell, in the long term the market will continue as long as there is growth in, in the underlying economy. And this is true for the US of course. This is very relevant because this is for India. I have taken this, borrowed this graph which Mihir uh, uh, had presented. Mihir Vora is going to be, I think, aapke session mein kal, he's one of the panelists I saw. So you can thank him for this. Uh, Mihir puts up very interesting, so please follow him on Twitter if you don't. Uh, <coughs> so this graph tells you that EPS growth, which Nifty companies ka hua hai na, profits jo hua hai, 20 saal mein, wo 10x hai. Aapko malum hai, next year ka EPS growth hum kitna expect kare, it's about 1050, 24, FI 24 ka mein bula hum. Kisi se bhi puchhenge, Nifty companies ka EPS estimate kitna hai, to 1060, 1050 ke aspas hai consensus, right? Somebody must be at 1090 also, but I'm and 1010 also. But I'm saying consensus is mota moti 1050. From that angle, you are at 19,000 plus on the Nifty, right? Just about. So you are 19 times P multiple. Is that expensive? You go to history and figure out whether it's expensive. Is it too expensive? Maybe not. Is it too cheap? Maybe not. 
So you are somewhere in the median, as they call it. But importantly, what you need to understand is when Nifty has gone up 10 times in the last 20 years, and so has the EPS. And, and that's why you see the graphs are almost like overlapping each other. So if you have to focus on where the Nifty is in the next five years or 10 years, focus on where the EPS is going to be. Okay, Nifty will follow at some point in time. It will probably be before time or after, you know, with a lag, but it will be there. If you focus on the Nifty EPS growth, I, I don't know if any of you track this Nifty EPS estimates. There are multiple of reports which you will find on Nifty EPS. Aapko jab chahiye milega. 24 ka hai, 25 ka bhi logo na estimate nikal ke rakha hua hai. Ab Hindustan mein kya hai na, log naukari bachane ke liye bhoat kaam karte hai. To extra kaam bhi kiya hua hai logo na Excel sheet bana bana ke. To FY25 ke bhi estimates hai. Of course, waha variation jada hai, kisi ka 1130 hai, kisi ka... 1290, sorry, 1290 So there's a huge variance because everybody expects different kind of this thing. But if nifty estimates are available and P multiples are something that you are familiar with, there is no reason why you can't talk about where the nifty could be in, in another year, two year, three years time. I just want to tell you how noise kills our rational process of rational thinking. So there was this news in August that Reliance was launching some you know, laptops for 16 and a half thousand or something, right? You remember that? And then immediately after that, there was a few days later, there was a government notification saying, laptop, tablets, PCs, sub ban. Yade? Jab Reliance ka announcement aya, or fir government ne ban kiya, you know what WhatsApp University was telling? And there was these messages floating around saying Reliance ko fayda karane ke liye ban ho gaya. Aapko yaad hai kisi ko? Bohut saare message the, samjha karo, kya ho raha hai, you know. Huh? Chronology samjhiye, yes. Uh, something, I, I remember somebody, because somebody was arguing, I, I, fortunately I don't use the phone much, uh, and on the phone, WhatsApp is the least that I use. But somebody showed, I mean asked me, saying, Reliance nahi kiya, or government nahi kar diya, abhi toh Reliance hai bikhega, or koi hai nahi. Now, you see, I said, okay, you work, you go to Reliance to Reliance's Geo Center. We went to the Geo Center, and we went to the laptop. It was not launched, but it was a carton. 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 I said, can we see this? He says, yeah, but we don't have the laptop. You'll get it only after one month. I said, that's okay. We want to see what the specifications are. And to our surprise, the laptop was made in China. So I said, now tell me, how is this going to help Reliance? In fact, Reliance is going to be impacted with this. And that's exactly what happened. They have still not launched the la uh, laptop except for the first order. Have you seen the Geo laptop? Why? Because they can't import. In the process, what happened is, and pe so people don't understand or want to understand. They say, oh, chronology, wala meme chalu ho gaya, bole ho gaya, we, la, maja ra de, you know. Uh, it's, it's always good to gossip, right? It gives you a nice rush. You know, you know, now, if you go back about six months, government had launched a PLI for making laptops and PCs in India. The PLI amount was very small, so nobody really got excited with it. When the ban happened, there was no chance to import it, so it not be Everybody started lining up. So this is a news article which is after that, where HP, Dell, Foxconn, everybody came and signed for the second PLI. And they, of course, they said PLI ka amount padana padega aapko, ye chode amount se nahi hoga. So news flow is all, you know, you can connect the dots very easily if you put it in the right context without the noise. If you had not seen that meme, you would have figured this out. But because you saw the meme, you say, ha, to Ambani, Adani, you know, all that. The, the easy to uh, gossip thing starts coming in. So just to, this is a lovely way uh, Brian Feraldi has captured this. He says, what drives stock returns, which all of us are chasing? He says, for one day it will be news. But for a quarter it will be more of analyst ratings. You know, uh, India may abhi bhi analyst ratings itna seriously nahi hota because bahut kam companies coverage mein hai. Uh, but Globally, analyst ratings are a very serious thing, very big thing. 
and in one year returns are decided by what valuation multiples hum log ne example dekha tha p multiple jo change hua 10 se 12 12 se 10 fir 15 you know all of that panch saal mein revenue ya profit growth wahi vijay bhai ji bol rahe the sunrise industry hai aaj nahi to kal nahi to parso hoga to sahi tejasvi profit banayega you know so you are looking at that so the long year 10 years is return on capital to get that profit what was the capital that is being invested that is going to be a big metric and in 20 years it's going to be people culture what kind of organization has built and how long can it sustain so you know these are very simple things you have to so if you are looking at 5 years from now you need to focus on what revenue the company can do forget the news forget the analyst ratings doesn't matter so you decide which slot you are in and ignore the rest is as simple as that lekin hamara kya hai karna ek saal ke liye invest lekin news roz ka dekhna hai so and then then we get confused and we sell when it's a wrong time to sell so if you take the noise out and focus on what's relevant to you you'll do it so a lot of times people ask me saying what's the next sunrise sector you know it's so funny a uh, few months back when the chandrayaan landed on the moon wo itna publicity hua tha ki number of companies that will you know that have participated in this chandrayaan to har ek matlab company aisa dur se bhi koi space ko dekhta na uska bhi naam dal diya hua itna lamba list tha maine kaha yaar so i finally got an appointment after almost a month and a half of that in isro and i went and met somebody in isro and they are very simple people you will be surprised at how simple the people who actually are leading our space mission and i have this habit of traveling so in a week i travel 5 days and it's precisely because you get to meet people in their comfort zone and that's how they can tell you what they feel if you ask them to come and talk to you somewhere else it's never the same so when i spoke to them i went for a two hour meeting i spent a day and a half because there were certain areas they couldn't tell let me come in so i had to wait and you know all of that they had to uh, get permission and all of those things so all that when i did i was shocked to understand that the number of companies that have in, in india that are participating is started growing most of them are unlisted and there is a huge element of startups in that which have contributed to at least the chandrayaan also now chandrayaan aaya humne sab jai hind ye wo sab jhanda vanda sab jo kiya uske baad hafte baad hum sab chandrayaan ko bhul gaye wo grahan mein chale gaya aur uske baad nobody talks about space now right हम लोग को कुछ और मिल गया तब तक रेलवे डिफेंस शुगर साइकिल कुछ ना कुछ ऐसा फ्लेवर मिलते रहता है हर हफ्ते तो सुबह सुबह मितेश भाई लोग आके क्या इनके स्टॉक व्यूज तो ये तीन चीज में बैरिश होते हैं तो हम लोग भी बैरिश हो गए सो देन यू नो वी स्टार्टेड फिगरिंग आउट एंड व्हेन वी केम बैक आई वॉज शॉक टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इसरो सेल्स अ लॉट ऑफ इट्स प्रोडक्ट्स टू एन एस आई एल इज अ नेशनल स्पेस uh institute of uh, national space uh, not institute there some other this thing limited so they buy that it's a nodal agency nsil sells it to other players isro and nsil come under the department of space you know the entire revenue was going there because it is the department of space that has birthed isro and and, and the nsil its revenues look at the revenues from in the last you know few years 7 8 years in 14 15 they were just about 200 odd crores it's actually in 22 they already done 1700 you'll be surprised 23 the numbers have come out it's not in the graph it's 3200 crores which they already got they're selling this to others okay so it's not like it's research chal raha hai acha hai apne desh ke liye they are actually commercially making money on it and they will but the spending by the national space agencies in india is very minuscule compared to the global pattern if you look the us the us is the biggest hamara gdp ka percentage agar aap dekhte hain to it's just 0.05% as compared to the us which is huge and it's it's almost like 23 billion uh, that they are spending so we have a far way to go so if you think the defense sector is promising because of atmanirbharta or has become promising you can imagine space is 5x of that lekin space mein kya na humko samajh nahi aata jaise defense mein bahut aata hai well uh, but so the question was like you know everybody is now become an authority on missiles on 
टैंक्स ऑन आर्टिलरी सब वो क्यों क्योंकि बोले मैंने इसमें इन्वेस्ट किया शिपिंग यू शुड सी एवरीबडी हु नेवर इवन सेट इज फुट ऑन अ सेल बोट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट शिपिंग मजगांव का आपको मालूम है कितना नेटवर्थ है बोले अच्छा मजगांव गया नहीं किधर है वो भी नहीं मालूम होगा बट द पॉइंट आई एम मेक इज दैट वी बिकम वेरी गुड एट सुपरफिशियल नॉलेज बिकॉज सोशल मीडिया फीड्स यू दैट यो ये कंपनी इतना अच्छा कर रहा है इतना कर तो अगर इतना अच्छा होता है तो फिर गिरता क्यों है राइट कोई तो होना चाहिए सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट इज इट दैट यू आर लीडिंग सो आई जस्ट टुक दिस पिक्चर फ्रॉम सम ऑफ द कंपनीज दैट आर देर लॉट ऑफ दैम माइट नॉट बी लिस्टेड ऑल्सो एज आई सेट और आई येट टू बी लिस्टेड सम ऑफ दैम आर लुकिंग एट आई पी ओज एंड ऑल इन द फ्यूचर एंड देन वी आस्ट अबाउट द फ्यूचर मिशन बियॉन्ड चंद्रयान so these are the future mission which have already in the works is pe kaam chalu hai ye aisa nahi hai ki drawing board pe hai is pe kaam chalu hai and if you see each of these is different something is related to uh, uh, you know x ray uh, detection in the universe something is uh, restricted to, i mean is focused on to venus pe jaane ki baat ho rahi hai something is also related to ocean deep undersea man missions can you imagine that also falls under isro by the way so when you look at that so i got very interested in the last one the samudrayaan part i see ye to bahut acha lag raha hai to isme kon kon involved hai so he says our official approved list of vendors in this is about 1800 companies i said oh wow listed kitna is that i don't know whether listed hai ki nahi because they the scientists don't bother about that but i said can i take a look at that he says yeah i can show it to you but i can't give it to you i said okay so we went through those names and i came back tried figuring out what is it so by the way there was one uh, 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 recent trial run of the gaganyaan mission i don't know if you read about it padha tha kisi ne chandrayaan to sabko malum hai na humne bahut jhat ekdam aisa डीपी पे भी चंद्रयान लगा के रखा था दो तीन दिन के लिए ये वो सब फिर भूल गए कि भाई अभी हो गया अभी किस में अभी बीच में गगनयान का हुआ था सो बिफोर द मैंड फ्लाइट टू स्पेस इज सेंट दे ट्राइड आउट द सेपरेशन ऑफ द मॉड्यूल व्हिच व्हिच इज द मोस्ट क्रिटिकल पार्ट फॉर द मैंड दिस थिंग टू गेट इन ऑर्बिट मतलब जिसमें वो एस्ट्रोनॉट जाएगा वो कर वो क्यूब को निकलने का जो काम है ना वो उसका ट्रायल था बिना आदमी के डाले दैट यू नो आफ्टर टेस्टिंग द फर्स्ट टू अनमैन लॉन्चेज दैट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस वन कंपनी दैट हैज एक्चुअली सप्लाइड द एंटायर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ सेपरेशन द मोटराइज्ड मैकेनिज्म व्हिच इज गॉन इनटू दैट डू यू नो दैट वो मिशन ही नहीं मालूम है तो कहां से हां बोलोगे आप ठीक है अच्छा हां नहीं बोला अभी वो कंपनी जो बनाती है वो कंपनी पिछले बहुत साल से ये काम करने की कोशिश कर रही थी और डब्बा बन गई थी मतलब क्योंकि कुछ सेल ही नहीं था कुछ रेवेन्यू नहीं था ऑर्डर नहीं था कुछ नहीं होता था पिछले तीन महीने में वो अस्सी रुपए से 160 हो गई है प्रॉफिट अभी भी आपको शायद नहीं दिखेगा कि यू नो वो तेजस जैसा है बट वो कंपनी वो काम जो करती है वो और कोई अभी नहीं कर रहा है because it has spent 6 7 years to develop that so if somebody else wants to come up they'll have to also spend that kind of time you know what I mean? it's not lnt it's not it's a very small company abhi shayad 500 crore ka market cap 600 ka ho gaya hoga i don't know i have not seen but jab maine pehli baar dekha tha to wo 360 tha so the point i'm trying to make is that if you see this there is so much of wo 24 by 7 jo bol rahe na wo ye hai कि आपको अगर ये एक मिशन पे पढ़ना हो ना गूगल करोगे तो इट विल टेक यू वन वीक टू फिनिश रीडिंग द मटेरियल दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑन ईच ऑफ दीज मिशन राइट सो समी आस्ट हाउ डू यू फिगर आउट वॉट इज द सनराइज सेक्टर इफ यू रीड यूल यूल गेट टू नो धूप लगेगी तो सनराइज दिखेगा <coughs> अभी हम लोग का क्या होता है कि ये कल का न्यूज मेरे ख्याल से recent news here i don't know when it is one day or two day old because i was updating this presentation once i had done it and i had in fact couple close to 80 slides are removed some ke bhi abhi itna sab aap log ko kya pakayenge but ye example ke liye maine chhod diya tha abhi center ka sirf 16% divestment collect hua hai divestment ka target jo hai wo 16% hi hai 
टोटल उसमें उन्होंने ये बोला था कि हमको पचास हजार करना है कितना था पचास हजार था फिफ्टी वन थाउजेंड करोड़ था फॉर द फुल ईयर उसमें से आठ हजार करोड़ ही है राइट क्योंकि आईडीबीआई नहीं बिका है कौन कौर नहीं बिका है एनएमडीसी स्टील बिज होने था वो भी नहीं हुआ है यू नो ऑल दोज थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग सो वॉट इज द न्यूज इसमें इंपॉर्टेंट क्या है इसमें क्या है अपने को मजा आएगा ये तो ठीक है डाइवेस्टमेंट नहीं हुआ है इसमें अपने कमाने का क्या है हम तो वेट करें कि डाइवेस्टमेंट हो तो कुछ शायद एक आध कोई स्टॉक जो लेके रखा है वो कभी होगा इफ यू गो थ्रू दिस एंड अंडरस्टैंड देर वॉज वन एक्सप्लेनेशन इज डिस्पाइट फॉलोइंग शॉर्ट ऑफ दिस टारगेट द गवर्नमेंट हैज मैनेज टू कलेक्ट डिविडेंड विच इज अबाउट एटीन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव करोर्स ठीक है और उसका मतलब जो थोड़ा बहुत आठ हजार डाइवेस्ट हुआ है और अट्ठारह हजार आया तो छब्बीस हजार का तो काम हो गया अभी बजट से पहले मार्च थर्टी फर्स्ट से पहले द सेंटर इज होपफुल दैट शॉर्टफॉल्स इन द डाइवेस्टमेंट प्रोसीड प्रोसीड वुड बी मिटिगेटेड बाई और सब्सिट्यूटेड बाई हेल्थी बैंक डिविडेंड्स एंड द आर बी आई अभी आपको सोचो अगर बाकी का शॉर्टफॉल छब्बीस करोड़ हो गया है पच्चीस हजार करोड़ और डिविडेंड से आने वाला है तो कहाँ से आएगा पी एस यू बैंक से आएगा सब पी एस यू बैंक की तो ताकत है नहीं डिविडेंड देने की बट कुछ की है अब आपको डिविडेंड ईल्ड अगर चाहिए हो तो अभी जो जीतू भाई ने ये सोमवार को मार्केट गिराई उसमें आप आप शॉर्ट थे इसके लिए बोल रहा हूँ सो उसमें आप सोचो ऑल गुड पी एस यू बैंक हेड ऑल्सो कम ऑफ राइट बिग टाइम तो कैनरा वैनरा ये वो सब आ गया था कि हम लोग सब शॉर्ट करने के मूड में आ गए थे कि वी भी अभी शॉर्ट घुमाओ उस पर जब भी शॉर्ट मतलब मार्केट में नीचे आ रहा है और आपको मालूम है डिविडेंड आने वाला है यू थिंक ऑफ द डिविडेंड ईल्ड दैट यू आर पोटेंशियली गोइंग टू कैप्चर and it's just six months away it's not even six months march so what i'm trying to say is ye news mein ye wali news mein kuch dam nahi tha isko karke hum kya karne wale hain but agar if you look beyond the headlines and figure out what's next i mean i can show this to you in every news item every news item that you take will have some take away which is not the headline okay so if you can start developing your thought process and this is no rocket science it's just about thinking without noise and what is the noise the biggest noise in our life is social media i was first thinking whatsapp was uh, sorry twitter was very heavy on noise unwanted there are people who call themselves grand master of stock and a stock picker apna naam hi lag khud hi bolte hain wo log aisa wo wo stock ke upar story thread abhi kya wo twitter ne jab se wo elon musk ne liya hai na ki jiske aapka jitne zyada follower aur viewership hai utna aapko कमाई भी होगा ऐसा तो पब्लिक कुछ भी लेके कमाने के लिए मतलब व्यूवरशिप बनाने के लिए लेकर है थ्रेड ऑन दिस कंपनी अभी वो कंपनी सब जानते हैं लेकिन वो एक और थ्रेड क्या करता है कट पेस्ट कॉपी वेबसाइट पे जाके और हम लोग पढ़ते हैं वो देर आर पीपल आर रीडिंग दैट एंड आस्किंग ये कंपनी कैसा है मैंने कहा कौन सा ओके बाई दी एनी कंपनी दैन आई एम रिकमेंडिंग आई मीन टॉकिंग वर्ड इज नो रिकमेंडेशन है प्लीज डोंट होल्ड मी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कंपनीज दैट आई यूज एज एग्जाम्पल सो देर इज अ कंपनी कॉल सी इनफी सिस्टम और समथिंग आई नेवर इवन हर्ड ऑफ दिस वो फुल अभी ट्विटर पे चल रहा है वो ट्विटर पे भी ना हर हफ्ते दो हफ्ते में एक कंपनी पकड़ के उसको मतलब चलाते हैं फिर वो खत्म हो जाता है तो दूसरा कोई ढूंढते हैं और वो ऐसी कंपनी ढूंढते हैं जिसके नाम से आपको नहीं पता चले ये क्या करती है एवरीबडी वॉज आस्ट मी से ये कंपनी का नाम सुना है नहीं तो ये क्या करती है आप पढ़ो पढ़ो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है So, मैंने कहा नहीं आपने पढ़ा होगा नहीं मैंने नहीं पढ़ा पर मेरे को किसी ने बोला है अच्छा है मतलब मेरे को होमवर्क दे रहा है वो सो आई सेड मेरे को तो इंटरेस्ट नहीं है इसमें मेरे पास तो ऐसा पैसा ही नहीं है जो मैं ऐसा चैरिटी में डालूंगा तो बोले नहीं नहीं अच्छा कम नहीं है मैं करती क्या वो तो बताओ ये तमें जरा जो ना तुमने ख्याल बधा रहे आपसे सर सो द होल पॉइंट इज हम लोग वी आर रेडी टू पुट हार्ड एंड मनी बिहाइंड नेम्स विच वी डोंट इवन नो वट दे डू एंड आई कीप ऑन जोकिंग सो मेनी टाइम्स दैट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट यू नो रिटर्न ऑफ समी नोन टू मी हैज मेड वेन फोर ईयर्स बैक आई वॉज टॉकिंग वोट रिन्यूएबल सोलर सो मच कि वो मतलब जीतू भाई को भी मालूम है जब भी ये चार मिलते थे हम लोग सब सोलर रिन्यूएबल तो ये बोलते यार ये टेप चालू हो गया इसका वापस 
बट आई हैड वेन आई हैड वर्क इन द यू एस एंड आई केम बैक एंड आई रियलाइज दैट इंडिया में तो अभी रिन्यूएबल पर कोई दिमाग ही नहीं लगा रहा है इट वॉज ओनली आफ्टर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हु मेड वी मेड इट अ मिशन एंड सेट हमको करना है क्लाइमेट चेंज पे वी आर कमिटेड टू डूइंग दिस दैट थिंग स्टार्ट एड मूविंग सो फोर फाइव ईयर्स बैक वेन आई स्पोक टू अवर रिन्यूएबल दिस जेंडर में से ठीक है यार ये बहुत बोलते रहता है ना तो मैं भी कुछ इसमें रिन्यूएबल में डालता हूँ तो अभी कुछ टाइम पहले वो कहीं मिले बोले यार प्रकाश भाई थैंक यू हाँ भाई उनका क्या हो गया तो बोले अरे वो क्या कंपनी मस्त चला फाइव एक्स हो गया अपना चार पाँच साल में मैंने कहा कौन सा कंपनी डाला है भाई इसने मतलब यू नो ऐसे आपने तब नहीं बोला था ऐसा तो मैंने कंपनी लिया सोलर इंडस्ट्रीज अच्छा अच्छा हाँ बोले ग्यारह सौ लिया था अभी फिफ्टी थ्री हंड्रेड है यू हर्ड ऑफ सोलर इंडस्ट्री सोलर इंडस्ट्रीज बट नथिंग टू डू विद रिन्यूएबल्स मतलब दूर दूर तक नहीं है गलती से भी नहीं करता कुछ वो यू नो वट सोलर इंडस्ट्री डज इट इज एग्जैक्टली इट इज इंडिया बिगेस्ट कंपनी इन टू एक्सप्लोजिव विच आर यूज फॉर रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बिल्डअप इवन द स्पेस मिशन समैट राइट एंड इट डजेंट डू सोलर एनर्जी अभी सोचो फिर भी उसने कमाया है पांच फाइव एक्स सो सो शायद अच्छा है वो सोलर रिन्यूएबल में कोई ढूंढ लिया होता है जो नहीं चलता तो वो गाली दे रहा होता है बट वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू सेज दैट दे सो मच नॉइज दैट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स पीपल आर यू नो इन्वेस्टिंग इन टू कंपनीज विच साउंड वेरी सेक्सी विच वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड अ थ्रेड यू नो थ्रेड इज नथिंग बियॉन्ड वट द वेबसाइट ऑफ द कंपनी एक्चुअली टेल्स सो वाई वी वेस्टिंग टाइम ऑन द ऑन समबडी हु इज कॉपीड आप ओरिजिनल देख लो ना यार है कि नहीं उतने टाइम में हम ओरिजिनल देख सकते हो लेकिन वो क्या होता है ट्विटर पे देख के हमको लगता है बहुत पढ़ रहे हैं हम लोग बहुत समझ रहे हैं और वो कौन है क्या है उसका मालूम ये नहीं वेस्ट सो लिस्ट आउट द बैंक्स दैट हैव डिविडेंड पेइंग कैपेसिटी मेक अ बास्केट दिस थिंग वेन एवर दे डाउन यू बाई आई एम श्योर यू विल गेट सम वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग डिविडेंड यूल्स विदाउट एनी कंप्लेन एंड यू कैन बी आउट इन सिक्स मंथ ऑल्सो इफ यू लाइक Okay, this is what. So you know, a few years back when I I told you when I was very charged up about uh, renewables, we we used to keep on believing that the, because you know energy transition is going towards green, इसलिए solar चलेगा, इसलिए wind चलेगा. Actually, वो reason नहीं है. You know why it is doing well? This explains it. This actually gives you the 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 LCOE is the levered cost. of electricity production which includes maintenance capex everything not per unit huh? don't mix it up with per unit uh, ka cost jo hota hai 2 rupees 70 paisa ya 6 rupees wo nahi main bol raha hu ye lcoa is the cost of uh, electricity generated all put together isme onshore wind is the cheapest abhi bhi aap socho now suddenly you will all say suzlon tabhi to chal raha hai यू हर्ड ऑफ राइट सुजलॉन क्यों चल रहा है क्योंकि विंड एनर्जी वो विंड तो पहले भी चलता था हवा तो कब से चल रहा है सुजलॉन अब चल रहा है तो वो क्या हुआ है ना कि हमको समझ आने लगा कि वो सुजलॉन ने क्या किया है अपने आप में चेंज हो नहीं किसी ने देखा है एंड आफ्टर द प्रमोटर एक्स प्रमोटर पास अवे दे गॉट फाइनली दे एंडेड अप डूइंग लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स विच आर पेंडिंग विच वी वॉज प्रोबली नॉट वेरी कीन ऑन गेटिंग दन राइट यू यू नो इफ यू टाइम इट ड्रॉ ग्राफ एंड ड्रॉ द डेट वेन uh tulsi tanti passed away i mean i'm not saying that everybody has to pass away to do well uh, for the company but i'm just saying reason were different not wind energy suddenly popular ho gaya incidentally wind energy mein you know who is the competitor for suzlon there is a company called siemens gamesa so na aapne gamesa karke hai international hai ye apna wo indian nahi hai game to saro gamesa waisa nahi hai Gamesa is a giant company globally. Siemens is talking about going bankrupt on that business, and they have actually asked today's news. While we were here, this news, if you want to see it, uh, they have asked the, for help from the German government, saying we are struggling. So why is Suzlon doing well? So you know, let's not mix up these things, but. the 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 reality is that anybody who is investing into wind power will continue to see growth because the economics favor it not because it's greener can you see in this whole list hydrogen is still not made a 
this thing, entry. And this is a very recent list, by the way. It's not, I, I mean, I track this data almost like every quarter. This is the most recent. The reason is, the reason is very simple, that hydrogen is still a very nice sounding, you know, this thing, asa matlab, bachche ko pilot banayega wala hai, bachche uhtta hi nahi hai subhe, das baje tak par usko pilot banayega. So, you know, hydrogen is still that. So, hum usme time waste karega na, because people ask me, hydrogen mein koon sa achha kam nahi hai jis mein invest karne ka. Wo jo hydrogen mein invest karega, usko bhi nahi malum hai abhi. और हम उससे पहले उसको बताएंगे कि अच्छा कम नहीं है। So जो है सामने उसमें नहीं दे रहा। And wind energy, by the way, is much more than just you know who's in India who's benefited the most because of wind energy growth. Apart from Suzlon, I'm saying there are companies that supply bearings to these wind turbines. ये wind turbine चलता है ना? तो कुछ भी चलता है, rotary motion होता है तो bearing लगता है। आप सोचो विंड टरबाइन इतना बड़ा है कि उसका एक ब्लेड ट्रक पे जाता है तो बेरिंग कितना बड़ा होगा? वो कौन बना सकता है? वो राजकोट में तो कहीं बनने का नहीं। वह शापर वेरावल में बोले बहुत बेरिंग कंपनी है एक आज को चांस मिल गया तो। In fact there are companies in Rajkot which make the balls that go into those bearings they are so big. But the companies that have made bearings have phenomenally done well. In the last three years, they've become 5x. This is a company called Timken. Their fastest growing area is wind turbines, railways. You know, not automobiles, which a lot of people think bearings will have automobile ancillary. So what happened to our mindset? It was so crazy to hear and listen to it, that we don't think about the other people. So if you, if you were to figure something out, choose whatever, and what I was telling you about, the next few areas of green energy after wind and solar is onshore wind plus storage. Again, wind chalta hai mood ke hisab se, fir ruk jata hai, lekin aapko electricity to constant chahiye. So the power, the combination of wind plus storage is going to be phenomenally powerful. Anybody who cracks that, which is number four on this graph, will do well. Right now the cost is slightly higher, it will move down. Focus on who's working on energy storage. I'm again telling you, energy storage is going to be a big business globally and everybody is starting at the same time. So China doesn't have an advantage the way it had on PV cells, photovoltaic cells, right? So we have a chance here. Okay, last slide on solar. This is my favorite area, so I'm talking about this. You know, when, when we started studying this in about 16, 17, <coughs> and then we actually started investing some money around 18, तब ये होता था कि एक गीगावाट को एक महीना लगता था, एक हफ्ता लगने लगा। उसके बाद 2023 में हम लोग अब क्या कर रहे हैं? हर दिन एक गीगावाट सोलर एनर्जी ऐड हो रहा है। To the extent that by 2030 it is expected that the world will be installing thousand गीगावाट every year. Please understand, thousand गीगावाट every year। हम तो मेगावाट में अभी Gigawatt is a very far away thing. Now what will happen when, uh, when all this happens, when actually this pace of growth happens? The biggest challenge will be obsolescence of the old solar cells. Have you, have you seen how old solar panels get uh, disposed of? Because we have not seen that cycle yet. The way to dispose them off is very complex. And France and England and all are face, already facing that problem. So there is an Indian startup which has started solving that. So e-waste, jaise hota hai. So you know, after laptops grow in India, the next big business that will grow is e-waste. Ki isme se sab nikal ke kaise karne ka. So I think on those lines. Don't, uh, don't kind of you know say, oh, solar miss kar gaya. Abhi kya? Abhi to kuch nahi. Abhi solar industry lena chahiye tha. So. <laughs> So there are, there are things that are changing and that too very fast. So you need to understand that in terms of being ahead of what the market is. Okay, so every time the market is not right, what Vijay Bhai said, I love that statement, that market will talk about the market and the market will talk about the market. In June of this year, or June of this year, or May of this year, sorry, Larson and Tuburo's result came, so the news flow came from all places, that the result is not going to happen, that's not going to happen. उस टाइम से अभी तक लार्सन ने जो परफॉर्मेंस दिया है ना वो इतने सालों में नहीं दिया है। जब से रिजल्ट खराब आया है, अभी क्या कनेक्शन है इसका? 
can you figure this out so you and and this is the prices are in front of you i'm talking about uh, today also larson must be only 2900 not 20 is itna bhi nahi hoga shayad 50000 rupaye upar hi hoga 6 mahine mein jab news kharab tha result kharab tha to performance best aaya koi kisi ko puchoge bole wo buyback tha na iske liye tha aisa to bahut buyback aake gaye kuch nahi hota tha the reason is when results come you have to figure out whether it's a trend which is going to continue or whether it's a bottoming out right if the result is bad is it going to take a u turn from there or is it going to continue in this or go further down that is what you need to figure out so it's our interpretation not some news flow that will tell you larson me kamai hai so you know ye main bar bar bolta hu ek bahut famous uh, ice hockey player hai wayne gretzky karke he probably is the only player who is not played a match without scoring a goal ice hockey mein हिस्ट्री में अभी तक ऐसा नहीं हुआ है तो उसको एक बार इंटरव्यू ने पूछा पोलिश इज अ पोलिश प्लेयर वॉज आस्ट इन एन इंटरव्यू यार तुम इतना कैसे हर बार तुम गोल कर देते हो यार ऐसा कैसे करते हो सो ही मेड दिस स्टेटमेंट ही से आई स्केट टू वेयर द पक पक इज दैट स्मॉल स्ट्राइकर काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग जो आइस हॉकी में गोल में डालते हैं ना हम लोग वो उसको पक बोलते हैं आई स्केट टू वेयर द पक इज गोइंग नॉट वेयर इट हैज बीन सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मोमेंटम इन्वेस्टिंग कि जहाँ मोमेंटम है सबने लाइन लगाई हम भी वहाँ खड़े हो जाते हैं सो डोंट गो वेयर द पक इज ऑलरेडी गोइंग गो वेयर इट इज गोइंग टू कम बैक और कम और रिबाउंड टू कम टू दैट इज एंटिसिपेशन इन इन इन्वेस्टिंग इफ यू कैन डू दैट आई डोंट सी एनी रीजन सो येस्टरडे फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर वॉज दिस न्यूज अबाउट सेवेंटीन क्रोज इन फीस दैट इवन अर्पित स्पोक अबाउट सम बाप सम चार्ट का बाप सो so, वो सत्रह करोड़ फीस आया ये स्कैम हुआ लोग हुआ उसे उसका इम्पैक्ट क्या होने वाला है अपने कुड यू मेक आउट सम इम्पैक्ट इन आर मार्केट्स ऑन दैट गॉसिप ही लग रहा था ना वो क्या मस्त पकड़ा सबको अच्छा लगा वो कि यार जरूरी था ये है ना एक तो क्यों लग रहा था कि सत्रह करोड़ कमाया इसने यस सर हा नहीं नहीं आपने पैसे उसको मतलब डोनेट किए थे क्या नहीं समझा नहीं अच्छा अच्छा ओके नो नो आई एम सेइंग व्हाट इट्स रिमार्केबल दैट ही कुड डू आई एम सेइंग व्हाट इज द इंपैक्ट ऑन आवर मार्केट दैट्स व्हाट आई एम आस्किंग वो तो न्यूज़ तो मेरे को भी मतलब किसी ने बताया तो पता चला मुझे yeah yeah it must be some uh, this thing i know i know no that's fine i'm saying 17 could have been more also uh, that that's fine i'm saying what is the impact that we need to understand take away ho gaya news aa gaya fine ho gaya the impact is a lot of people who have not lost money with so and so person but who are almost losing money elsewhere because aise models bahut hain right some baap some beta some bhai sab hoga so wo log sab band kar denge kaam karna ki yaar ye to hum log ko scam ho raha hai hamara suddenly you will see a huge segment of people dry out from the option volumes it won't happen overnight but a lot of people will start thinking saying yaar kuch to gadbad hai and then sebi has also found a very wonderful report saying 99% traders don't make money and so everybody thinks i am in that 1% right that's why they are very happy ha dekha na tum logo ko bola tha mat karo so once that happens the first impact you will see after a lag of a quarter or two quarters is on option volumes and income generated by brokerages on on this business so some of them have you know been sold with the idea that agle 3 saal mein aap socho option volume kahan jayega <laughs> so wo wo kisi ko malum nahi hai lekin kuch bhi bol sakte ho aap aisa so wo extra bol so order booking pe jaise hota hai यू नो बी एच ई एल का अभी कोई बीच में आया था कि ऑर्डर बुक इसका आपको मालूम है कितना ऑर्डर बुक है इट हैज एन ऑर्डर बुक ऑफ सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड क्रोर्स वेरी गुड आई सेड सो दैट्स न्यूज वो उस आदमी को पहली बार मालूम पड़ा है ऑर्डर बुक इतना बड़ा है बेल का ऑर्डर बुक तो बहुत सालों से इतना बड़ा है एल एन टी का ऑर्डर बुक आपको मालूम है इट्स इन लैक्स ऑफ क्रोर्स वो उतना ही रहता है चेंज ही नहीं हुआ सो so, जिसको पहली बार देखता है ना जो कौन कॉल अरे मैंने एल एन टी कौन कॉल सुना तीन लाख करोड़ का ऑर्डर बुक है यार ये तो स्टॉक फट जाएगा तो बोले तो छह साल से इतना ही है पर उसको आज पता चला है ना भाई 
so he's so excited so it's it's people don't uh, put things in context it's like abhi mujhe samajh aaya to ban jayega but i'm i'm saying it's a good way to think but go into history and then try and figure out the future so what wayne gretzky said and the secret behind is a simple line he said i skate to where the puck is going not where it has been ye agar humko samajh aa jaye na to bahut cheeze solve ho jati hai ab ye aapko ek statistic wapas de raha hu again my statistics are not recommendation huh? please main fir se bol raha hu ye to mera thought process hai and ye sab original slides hai matlab maine khud banaye ek do din pehle aisa bhi nahi hai ki सर्कुलेट कर रहे लोग सो द ए एन डी अप्रूवल जो यू एस एफ डी ए का आता है वो इंस्पेक्शन होते रहता है ना फार्मा कंपनीज का पहले हर जगह ई आई आर आता था कुछ ना कुछ नेगेटिव न्यूज ऑडिट में आता था अभी अप्रूवल आ रहे हैं इंडिया को फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट मिले इन द फर्स्ट सिक्स मंथ ऑफ दिस कैलेंडर ईयर एज कम्पेयर टू चाइना यूरोप एवरीवेयर नाउ इफ यू सी एंड दिस दिस इज in absolute terms also 51 so i'm saying market share of total approvals that us fda has given 60% have come to us and in indian pharma companies ka jo approvals tha usse 51% bad chuka hai in half a year now if approvals have gone up others are not getting see how it is happening indian pharma companies are allowed to make others are yet not making the opportunity is not that sabko approval mil gaya hai aapko mila hai unko nahi mila hai and 51% agar approval bada hai to volume nahi badega profit nahi badega lekin abhi pharma maza nahi aa raha hai kuch pharma mein koi aisa to pharma kuch peak hoga tab sab pharma bahut acha lag raha hai so you know so this is what happens we are always behind the curve as they call it but if you anticipate you know so last year we were in uh, in uh, rajkot doing a conference not last year this year this year early this year ha march mein the vijay bhai jab aaye the tab pehli baar ha and wahan pe aise hum log baat kar rahe the ki sunrise unka ek discussion se hi chal raha tha ye sunrise to sab sunrise dhoondne lage the unke call ke uh, talk ke baad to usme wala kya hai to i was explaining to them about how the indian aviation sector was so promising was you know why it has become promising we'll wind up in two more minutes uh, okay wo oh, 128 okay so ab wo wala ghadi dekh rahe ho nahi wo digital hai na wo piche hai by the way wo 4 minute so i'm saying uh, we were talking about sunrise sectors so indian aviation so my belief was very simple and that time indigo was about 1800 rupees and uske baad wo 2600 2700 bhi gaya fir क्रूड ऊपर जाता है तो थोड़ा नीचे आता है यू नो कुछ कोई ना कोई गिंडी को में मारपीट होती है तो नीचे आता है वो सब होते रहता है बट द पॉइंट आई स्टैंड मेक इज सेइंग यू नो व्हाई मारुति एंड ऑल दीज कंपनीज ग्रो एट अ पेस मारुति वाज द ओनली कंपनी 10 इयर्स बैक इन इन पैसेंजर कार्स महिंद्रा वाजंट येट वेरी एक्टिव टाटा वाज स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग टू वेदर टू डू नैनो और टू डू दिस यू नो वो कंफ्यूजन चल रहा था उनका So Maruti was the only one with a 60% market share in PVs. The reason why Maruti grew, and I'm talking about the time when Atal Bihari Vajpayee government was in in power. The reason why Maruti grew so phenomenally from uh, you know Ma Maruti ka IPO kitne ka aaya tha? Sava so rupee. Huh? Ha listing ke ha but 2005 May right? uh 2003 maybe i don't know i'm, I'm somewhere around that i remember i first time i visited the plant also and jagdish khattar karke unke md the to maruti ka growth unka expectation kya tha malum hai 7% every year we will grow so i said okay and we were very excited 7% growth kagar for the next ye wo excel sheet naya naya sikha tha to sab baith ke finally maruti grew at almost double of that the reason was in india in that same period there was a massive infrastructure spend on roads in villages there was something called the pradhan mantri gramin sadak yojana i don't know if you heard of this aap koi chote shehar gaon mein jao na to aisa board hota tha aisa kesari color ka road bana hua tha pradhan mantri gramin sadak yojana bajpai time bajpai sahab ke time and nhi your quadrilateral ye wo to sab hai 
मारुति एक्चुअली वॉज सोल्ड बिकॉज द रोड केम इन टू इंडिया रोड ही नहीं है तो मारुति कैसे बिकेगा आप सोच रहे हो ना टू व्हीलर चलता था छकड़ा चलता था वो सब चलता था लेकिन मारुति कहाँ से चलेगा वो रोड आया तो मारुति बिकने लगा सो द इंस्टेड ऑफ इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्राइंग टू फोकस ऑन मारुति प्रोजेक्शन एंड ग्रोथ एंटिसिपेशन इफ यू वर टू फोकस ऑन रोड ग्रोथ यू वुड है बेटर मनी एविएशन इज इवन राइट नाउ इन अ वेरी सिमिलर सिचुएशन यू नो द नंबर ऑफ एयरपोर्ट्स इज कम इन इंडिया इज लास्ट वन ईयर टू ईयर्स phenomenal i mean you have a direct flight to places like nasik from indore indore is of course very big mitesh bhai settled there uh, but i am just saying indore se na, uh, nasik ka flight hai nasik se goa ka hai matlab indore wale shirdi darshan karke fir goa jate hain fir wapas ghar jate i don't know what is the this say but ऐसी ऐसी औरंगाबाद से फ्लाइट था आज मैं सुबह लैंड हुआ तो औरंगाबाद से भी फ्लाइट विस्तारा का आ रहा है वो लाइक वाओ यू नो सो द पॉइंट आई नो मेक इज दैट देर आर कैलेंडर आई मीन देर आर नेम्स ऑफ सिटीज ऑन 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 द बोर्ड्स व्हेन यू गो टू एयरपोर्ट्स व्हिच यू आर लाइक रियली देर इज अ फ्लाइट यू डोंट इवन नो दैट देर आर प्लेसेज व्हिच वाज सो बिग व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू इज इफ एयरपोर्ट्स ग्रो इट्स वेरी इजी फॉर एन एयरलाइन टू ब्रिंग अ फ्यू प्लेन्स एंड higher people and start flying and in the last 5 years fares have not gone down anywhere so there is no competition so that will not happen right ki aapko to uski kamai to aani aani ho crude aaye upar jaye niche jaye you'll be surprised the next big trend in airline fuel which is biggest reason why airlines don't survive you know globally the highest mortality of any industry airlines is one of them hotels is the next you know it's a whole Pecking order. Indigo is already the eighth largest airline in the world. Do you know that? Because Indigo has not done anything great. Everybody else has gone out of the market. पहले Jet गया. I mean, Indigo has done well on its own, but Jet आके चले गया. ये गया. Spice Jet गया. वो Jet नाम में कुछ problem है. वो जिसमें Jet होता है वो बैठ जाता है. अभी वो Go Air, Go Air was sorry, Go first became Go last. वो जाता ही नहीं था. टेक ऑफ ही नहीं होता था बेचारा तो वो भी चले गया सो एवरी टाइम एन एयरलाइन गेट्स आउट ऑफ द मार्केट और अ सेक्टर इट टेक्स अवे इन्वेंट्री सो वेन गो एयर वेंट नाइन परसेंट इंडियन एयरक्राफ्ट इन्वेंट्री वेंट आउट सो यू कैन इमेजिन द शॉर्टफॉल वेन स्पाइस क्लोज सम ऑफ एयरलाइन फ्लाइट्स दर इज अनदर सेवन परसेंट दैट वेंट आउट ओके सो इट कीप्स ऑन हैपनिंग ऑल द टाइम एंड वी कीमन सिंह विस्तारा विल गिव अ बिग कॉम्पिटिशन एयर इंडिया विल वो होगा सब ऐसा मैं ये नहीं कह रहा कि नहीं होगा बट वो लिस्टेड नहीं है तो हम क्या करेंगे उसमें कुछ कर तो सकते हैं बट जो लिस्टेड उसको तो समझ सकते हैं नाउ इफ एयरपोर्ट्स ग्रो एट द रेट दे आर ग्रोइंग ट्रस्ट मी योर इट इज द सेम थिंग एज रोड लीडिंग टू मारुति का ग्रोथ स्टोरी में कोई रोड को श्रेय नहीं देता है यू नो पता नहीं सबको ऐसा लगता है कि मारुति नहीं था तो गाड़ी बिकता ही नहीं था वो रोड नहीं था इसलिए गाड़ी नहीं बिकता था राइट right? अभी क्यों मारुति इतना तो नहीं बिक रहा है क्योंकि बहुत कंपटीशन आ गया ना टाटा इज गिविंग इट कंपटीशन एमजी इज गिविंग इट किया इज गिविंग एवरीबडी इज कम एंड गिवन इट आई एम जस्ट सेइंग एयरलाइंस में भी ऐसा ही है सो देयर इज अ वेरी सीरियस चेंज दैट्स हैपनिंग व्हिच वी नीड टू काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंड इन एंटिसिपेशन द सेम थिंग इज इन फार्मा एंड दिस थिंग ओके दिस इज न्यूज़ यस्टरडे जो बाइडेन ने दूसरी बार एक हफ्ते के अंदर ऐसा स्टेटमेंट मारा आई एम कन्विंस्ड that the hamas attack on israel could be linked to the imeec corridor you know what imeec is india middle east europe corridor wo beech mein hua tha na g20 mein announcement very very nice as i whatsapp pe ghoom bhi raha tha aisa graph ban raha tha this is how it is hum log ne bahut sabne dekh ke thumbs up thumbs up ye wo mera jai hind jai hind karke diya tha abhi usko fir sab bhul gaye now he is saying that this is because the imec corridor was being launched is liye attack kiya hai suddenly when i read this i said wo oh, imec ko seriously padhna padega ye hai kya ki hamas ko attack karne ka reason ye hai you know according to whom the president of the united states whether it's a noise or news will figure out but i'm just saying this is yesterday last evening ओके लास्ट थिंग सो नॉइज वर्सेस न्यूज डिलेमा कैसे सॉल्व करें फर्स्ट थिंग इज सोशल मीडिया इज यूजुअली व्हाट क्रिएट्स द मैक्सिमम नॉइज सो इफ यू हैव सोशल मीडिया एप्स ऑन योर फोन 
use it for family messages and happy birthday and good morning and all, but don't use it for market study. Okay, there's a difference. I mean, your mom will send you a message which uh, your sister would have sent it to you a year back and mom will find it a good message that I had to send you. At times she sent me a message and she calls up saying, oh, message padha tumne? So I said, which message? I said, no, mama, I'm a meeting. No, no, it's a message. That message was two years ago. But they also read it. So, you know, it is, so social media is like that. Whoever gets the chance will take your, this thing attention, saying, read it now. So you can't avoid it. So best is to take social media out. I mean, don't be part of those groups except for one group which is very highly recommended. Uh, <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, so <clears throat> the second thing is news that makes sense. Usually, just me, kamane ka chance rehta hai, samajne ka chance rehta hai. Usme sensation nahi hota hai kuch. Ekdam thanda news hota hai wo. Aisa hota hai ki aake chala jayega, pata bhi nahi chalega. Wo gaganyan, you know, all that. The, those are things which make money. So, wo sab hai. Data points emerging from news flow is what one needs to look for. Every news flow, if you have this ability to read the news, not the headlines, the entire thing, and if there is anything meaningful in your notebook, in your diary, whatever you use, just write data points. Data points means bullet point. I think it's very good that 51,000 crores was the divestment target. I remember You know, I it. Right? But that's how you get data rich. All probabilistic scenarios around so-called news could be just noise. कि ऐसा होने वाला है दो साल बाद ऐसा करेंगे फिर आज आज फैक्ट्री डाल रहा है तो कल उसका सेल बढ़ जाएगा 25 साल से तो फैक्ट्री डाली नहीं अभी डालेगा तो एकदम से सेल बढ़ जाएगा एंड देयर आर पीपल हुसे अभी ने दो यूनिट था अभी थर्ड डाल रहे और थर्ड यूनिट में समहाउ कुछ ऐसा नसीब अच्छा उसका लगने लगता है कि टर्नओवर तीन गुना होने लगता है बोले कैपेसिटी तो उतना ही है जो पहले दो यूनिट का है नहीं नहीं पर अभी क्या है हम लोग एफिशिएंट हो गए so what do we basically say? Before we had money, now we will keep it in books. And nothing happens. So, and, and this, is, this is why, you know, you, to just to, I'll wind up on this, say why small caps and mid caps this time are not letting you down in terms of uh, growth. The quality of earnings, and I meet at least about, you know, more than 100 uh, p companies in a year, okay? Some of them, of course, repeatedly, but some of them new also. This already by September, I have met close to about 62 companies. And my analysis of all these companies is that the quality of earnings has gone up dramatically in India now. Pele kya hota tha? Paisa kai or se ja raha hai, sale hi nahi dikhti thi, tax nahi dikhta tha. Malab, abhi sab kuch dikh raha hai. Kyunki usko samajh aaya ki market cap is far bigger than all these other things. So whether it is demon, GST, whatever, 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 the environment is so so promising for people to actually do well. And that's why they are, the quality of earnings is, and some of these companies, SMEs are becoming global players. There's one company I met uh, sometime back last year. It is in the top three in its category globally. And in India, there's no competition. And it's still available at 2700 crore market cap. Us time to 1400 tha, double But I'm just saying, SMB companies hai. Global leadership, top three, no competition, advance mein paisa aata hai, maal bechne se, bechne se pehle, but abhi bhi 700 crore market cap, abhi uski kya galti hai, ho chota hai toh, lekin hai, undiscovered hai, so, so anyways, enough on multi-baggers, my last thing, experience again, I think Vijay bhai summed it up so brilliantly, but he says, first develop the capacity to hold stocks for many years, then hunt for multi-baggers, because multi-baggers saamne aake mil bhi jayega, but we hold not hold it, we can't dip it, so we can't get any benefit from it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone have questions can be asked? You have to rise up first for the question. Mishra, mic DJ. Mishra ji. Naunath.
बॉम्बे ऑक्सीजन वो एन बी एफ सी जो था तो यू हैव टू बी वेरी क्विक टू नॉट ओनली गेट इन बट गेट आउट ऑल्सो बिकॉज वो फिर नहीं तो वो न्यूज फ्लो जब लोगों को समझ सी बट इट्स नॉट अ फेयर वे ऑफ मेकिंग मनी इट विल नेवर वर्क ऑल द टाइम एक आध बार तुक्का लग गया तो लग गया लेकिन आपको मालूम है अब लोग बेवकूफ़ बन रहे हैं एक पर्टिकुलर चीज़ में बिकॉज वो फैड है ट्रेंड है यू नो देर आर सर्टन आई पी ओज दैट पीपल आर कमिंग विद नाउ प्रमोटर्स आर कमिंग दे आर ब्लेटेंडली ओवर प्राइज बट ग्रे मार्केट प्रीमियम है तो शायद लोग आ भी जाते हैं तो हमको वो करना नहीं करना वो इंडिविजुअल कॉल है बट आई ऑलवेज फील यू विल फॉल फ्लैट समे एंड लूज ऑल द गेम्स दैट यू मेड यू नो दो तीन बार आप कमा लोगे चौथी बार वो कमा दोगे सर सो डोंट डोंट पार्टिसिपेट इन बबल्स आई मीन वॉट यू आर टॉकिंग इज अ बबल विच इज लाइक वो तो बबल में हम भी थोड़ा सा वो कर दें बट आई 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 एम नॉट इन फेवर ऑफ बबल इन्वेस्टिंग दो आई कैन सी दिस अ बबल हैपनिंग तो अभी जैसे लोगों को एस एम ई में बबल लग रहा था और हो भी सकता है हो बट देर आर सम अमेजिंग बिजनेस इन द एस एम ई एक्सचेंज ऑल्सो विच आई वॉट रिसेंटली लिस्टेड विच आई डन सो वेल विच विल डू वेल डोंट मिस आउट ऑन दैट जस्ट थिंकिंग इट्स अ बबल होता ही है ना वो तो हम लोग सोशल मीडिया पे सो नॉर्मली आई बाई कंपनीज विच हैव विच हैव नो डिस्कशन हैपनिंग ऑन सोशल मीडिया अगर वो सोशल मीडिया पे ऑलरेडी डिस्कस हो रही है कौन कर रहा है क्या है कुछ समझ नहीं आता है तो क्यों करने का सो एंड एंड टू बी ऑनेस्ट द नंबर ऑफ कंपनीज दैट यू स्टडी कैन बी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी हंड्रेड बट द कंपनीज दैट यू इन्वेस्ट नीड टू बी जस्ट नाइन टेन ट्वेल्व दैट्स ऑल उससे ज़्यादा करना भी नहीं है Good afternoon, sir. Darshan Shah here. Uh, sir, my question is, sir, how to analyze correct entry points in the market? Because at times we see uh, our point entry point is so bad that we are not able to make most out of that stock. Like for example, if I, I compare investor A who is uh, entering into a stock and earning a 250% return in one year, and another investor B is entering five or four months back and you know earning the same amount of return. Like for example, BSC Limited. it has grown in 4 months to 50% returns it has given to the investor so how to analyze correct entry point into a particular stock which will give out the maximum benefit sure so okay uh, you know a lot of times people uh, look at this differently your question is posed differently by saying what is the right inflection point at which i should invest matlab sabko aise time pe invest karna hai ki jahan se growth ho raha hai pehle nahi karna hai so मतलब वो ऐसा है कि वो बिजनेस कैसा हो रहा है वो आपको समझ में आना पड़ेगा कई बार आपने इन्वेस्ट किया बिजनेस नहीं ग्रो हुआ उस समय में अगेन विजय भाई ने क्या बोला तेजस में किया था सरकार कर रही है तेजस में इतना ऑर्डर बुक है टाटा भी आ गया है मैं भी बैठा रहा नो अभी तक हुआ नहीं है लेकिन हो जाएगा सो द वे इट वर्क इज की सो इट्स लाइक देर इज नथिंग लाइक इन द स्टॉक देर इज अ परफेक्ट एंट्री पॉइंट आस्क यू अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन When do you say when normally आपने सुना होगा मिड लाइफ क्राइसिस होता है वो किस एज पे होता है नॉर्मली फोर्टी फिफ्टी फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव राइट क्योंकि हम लोग का जनरल एजम्पन है दैट लाइफ स्पैन इज अबाउट एटी फाइव नाइन्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज मैं अगर आपको बोलूँ कि आदमी का है ही नहीं मरने का स्कोप अस्सी पचासी नब्बे नहीं चलते रहेगा तो मिड लाइफ क्राइसिस कहाँ आएगा किस स्टेज पर आएगा है ही नहीं सो कंपनी सो वेन यू बाई द कंपनी उसने पहले क्या किया है उसको भूल जाने का उससे सीखने का है लेकिन यहाँ से आगे कितना ग्रो हो रहा है वो अगर मेरे को मैच होता है रिस्क रिवॉर्ड में तो करने आई हैव वॉट कंपनीज आफ्टर ट्रैकिंग देम फॉर अ फुल ईयर इन विच देव डन फिफ्टी परसेंट अपसाइड एंड आई स्टिल इन्वेस्टेड इन दोज एंड स्टिल मेड अबाउट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट आप समझ रहे हो सो अभी जो नहीं है वो हो गया तो क्या करने का मतलब वो तो वैसा है ना आप लड़की ढूंढने जाते हो तो आप जिस जो अवेलेबल है आज उसी पे करोगे ना जो चली गई कहीं और उसके लिए बोले यार ये पहले आता था तो मैं वहाँ भी जा सकते थे बट वो वो उसका फायदा नहीं है कुछ वो करके सो इन्फ्लेक्शन पॉइंट ढूंढने का एकदम वैसा यू कॉन्ट परफेक्ट इट इन दैट सेंस 
you have to look at what you will get rewarded today if you are investing. That's that's the critical part. And and you, if you get that discipline to uh, you know to live with that kind of money, you'll always make money. Uh, if I may ask one question, uh, good afternoon, Prakashji, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I think, sir, staying on the topic of you know oh, news sorry. and noise, uh, you know, there's always big news and noise around major events like central elections, which are going to come up. Yes. And the long term graph, as you have shown, doesn't matter too much in the long term. But do you do any special preparations around such major events oh, yes. from an investing yes. mindset? Oh, absolutely. I love these events because they always give you a dip. So, kya lena hai, wo list ready hona chahiye. Mere, mere jo buying list, shopping list hai na, wo change nahi hota hai. Again, I'm saying, because the companies are not changing. Abhi election outcome se, ya Israel, Hamas war se, aapki company mein koi impact to aya nahi. Lekin, mark price mein aapko correction mil gaya. So, I go back to those companies also when these events happen, saying the election might be a slightly different, more complex situation because it can impact certain sectors, companies, states, whatever, whatever. But by and large, the way India is poised, I think this election will not, it might give you a surprise, okay, but the surprise will be in the state assembly election, not in the general elections. So, the market will start discounting or extrapolating the results of the state assembly to the general election, which has got nothing to do with, uh, you know, the dynamics are very different. But wo, aapko chance chance mil jayega. state assembly mein kuch upsets aaye, thoda bad, as they call it, swing, uh, is side to side, to aapko saste bhao mein mil jayega. So, you know, you have to understand that uh, events which, again I said, noise is events that impact your business or your, your company and any of those four or five things. Otherwise, it's wonderful to buy uh, this thing. So like pandemic, I was on a television show once uh, and I was talking about buying companies and you know, actually the anchors, uh, uh, two anchors were there on the CNBC channel and said, Prakash, you don't sound so bullish. I said, why happened? The market is falling for two days, you're talking about taking it. People are asking if it will fall or not. And I'm going to say, now tell me, in that moment, 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 two and a half weeks or something, I remember, it had fallen some like, 60% erosion मतलब ऐसा था, 52% और something I remember उसने निकाल के दिखाया था graphic. You know, even if the pandemic takes a year to get sorted out and go away, to set up a company like this would need far more money than what they were valuing it at. So replacement cost basis जिसको हम लोग कहते हैं. So I think what you have to do is as skilled, educated people we have to use these metrics to figure out what is reality, what is overdone. There are so many businesses that are available for less than replacement cost. The reason why they are available is because there's no buyer right now. But someday, some buyer will come up. So there are PSUs. They're all going up on replacement cost theory. It's nothing else. They will not be able to... Hindustan copper karke company hai. Aapne suna hoga. Baut time. Aapko jab chahiye, wo milta hai sastay mein. Mulab, har, har regular us pe sale lagti rehti us pe. है ना थोड़ा सा ऊपर जाता है फिर तो नहीं नहीं सेल फिर लगाने की पड़ेगी 100 फिर 120 आ जाता है वो but उसके आप एसेट्स देखो उसके जो इम्बेडेड वैल्यू देखो to to set up those kind of assets if they were to even think of getting a strategic partner or diversifying or selling divesting do you think it will be available at 130 rupees no chance I mean that's what so you have to keep a watch that where is the, not that you jump at it and fear bole prakash yaar kya 5 saal se wahi hai you know aisa nahi karega but th there is a lot of these so gmdc classic example why did gmdc go up gmdc itne saal se mining nahi kar raha tha wo jitu bhai ne chalaya wo alag baat hai but 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 gmdc kyo it's it's doubled uh, or it's two and a half x in one year the reason was something else the moment coal started getting expensive lignite also started getting value. Otherwise, nobody was. Coal India, I remember I had gone on television and said, you know, it's a great buy at 236. And like, they were like all laughing at me. Ki, yeah, renewable bolta tha, abhi coal pe aagaya. So, I'm not saying that renewable is out of fashion, but coal also will get in, into demand. 
you know so so look at look at your electricity consumption patterns look at how many people are getting uh, to see electricity happen i mean there's i can i can go on and on the peak electricity demand in india in the last 5 years is i mean every new year we have made a new peak kabhi hum bolte hain summer tha lamba monsoon kam tha aisa tha kuch story dete hain hum log uska but the reality is that we have so many gadgets and uh, things that have to be charged and and consumption of electricity and acs and fridges and everything will happen same is with cars you know th these data points so in india there are eight cars per 1000 people in china it is 80 in the us it's 160 abhi aap mere ko batao gaadi kyun nahi bikega road hona chahiye traffic khali matlab ab actually log gaadi bombay mein nahi le rahe hain malum hai ki yaar traffic hi nahi parking nahi milta ghar ke bahar parking nahi milta so dadar mein actually you can get an apartment without parking for at least 30 lakhs less iske aas paas ab jaake dekhna you know wo bhi yaad rakhna padta hai aaj odd day hai even day hai kidhar hai kidhar nahi matlab sab bahut complicated hai sir so my point i'm trying to make is that the 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 whole this thing is to figure out uh, you know uh, inflection points and not from that angle but potential replacement costs and all those things you understand a company you will get all of these statistics well ek to company pe focus karo aap sab pe mat karo i'll tell you I'll do this exercise because you guys like doing things when you go back ek baar aisa bola hai sab ca bahut hard working hote hain do this for refineries globally there's going to be a shortage of refining capacity in the last so many years no new greenfield refinery has come refinery bol raha hu main matlab not tel nikalne wala kaam refine karne wala why do you think reliance has been doing so well all these years so there are so many indian companies psus some of them which have huge refining capacity but they are not rated they are still available at 5p and they are making a bit of which is 18% so you can go and figure out so they ab wo kis din re rate hota hai kab wo hota hai wo mujhe malum nahi hai but usko radar mein rakhne ka hai it's like z z was to be out of courts one year back every day there is a tarikh pe tarikh pe tarikh aa raha hai na thak gaye sab log z ka target dekh ke change karke karke lekin wo jab sab thak jayenge to aa jayega so markets will tend to do that thank you thank you sir thank you so much uh, we are running short of time so i request all the participants if you have any questions you can of the dais discuss with divan sir what does